Really? That's what you asked him about? A completely different tech base, and you start there. You want to talk shop? Talk shop. I want to know. <sighs> Did you hear the news from Eos? A sorry refugee showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Taking the Angara, old man. Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh, yeah. You lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving, and everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone. Blah. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. 
I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh. You mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. A romantic? I wasn't expecting that. And again, the entire idea of leaving everything you know for a chance at something new is kind of romantic. Um, anyway... You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I always have time for you. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It's been amazing. Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others... You have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I should get back to things. Sounds good? We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right. I'll look around the ship and see what I can find.
Bitcoin channels already, Pathfinder. Not reading any extra mass in here. Nothing under the table. All the mass readings in here are normal. Of course they are. Something up. I hope not. Yes? What's your story, Joel? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. You're messing with me, right? Possibly. What does that mean? Ugh, it's an idiom. Means you're joking, trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Ah, then no. Ephra instructed me to be cautious. I'm... Not very good at being cautious. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? You studied with Moshe Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. Really? So one of those professor-student things? <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefa is 115 of your years old. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How did they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me. But I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? An internal lens focuses an image onto the retina where it becomes electrical impulses that are deciphered by the brain. You took my sarcasm as an invitation to show off. Pitiful. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, We've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. Well, enough about that. Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. When the Ket came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. 
Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the Ket are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that, believe me. What's living under the Ket been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Have the Ket always been here? No. Some, like the Moshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ket. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And live to tell? And live to tell. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Is there something else? A few more questions, if that's okay. Hmm, well, we won't know till we try. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right, I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life. But it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. He found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin, both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it.
Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. Not really a holiday destination.
plan before, Crow. Unlocking. Come on in. Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? You've outdone yourself, PB. Let Suvi and Gil eyeball it, then fast track the combat model for me. I'd hoped you'd be happy. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. Don't be so condescending, babe. This is PB's place, and you're trespassing. I'd say that warrants a little hostility. Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, wanna talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. Hey, I hope you know you can talk to me. Anytime. Aren't you a cutie? Thanks, Ryder. That's nice. I mean it. But really, the past is the past. I'm fine. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest. about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military personnel got bumped down the list, like my clan brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in 10 different colony blocks now. And my mother just got caught in the middle. I founded the outpost. I didn't decide who would stay in stasis. You don't care that you've torn families apart? That's not what I said. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want Mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. Okay, I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. We tried petitioning Addison. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. 
He sent those ten soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. Our Nexus, our lives! Make them hear, make them know, make them hear, make them know. If I'd done what I planned, things would have gone badly. Oh. Hey. Oh, no. I got... Flag of Tevuni. Let's hear it. Ryder. Take a break, Pathfinder. Everyone needs it. You may have a point. Welcome to the Vortex. Hello. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder. I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. Ooh. Were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. Not the type to give up, huh? Never. She'll be with me to the bitter end. Come what may. Jill's a fertility expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. 
Ah, huh, sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Ah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's bluffing. I call. Oof, nice. That one's yours. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. Gil, listen. Wish I could say that was skill, but I was getting help from Sam. <laughs> I kind of figured. Pretty obvious, actually. You mad? Hell no. The day I can beat you with Sam helping is the day I become all-powerful. I'm just gonna have to keep my eye on you. I can think of worse fates. Jill predicted you'd be my downfall. Wait till I tell her you're a cheat. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. I'll see you back on the Tempest. Might they get hungry? Stock looks half decent. Better get to get the door closed. Residents are still mourning the loss of Gene Garson. The initiative founder was killed when the Nexus hit the scourge. An official tribute is planned, though director Jaren Tan has provided a few details so far. Without Gene, we wouldn't be here. But now that we are here, we need to focus on surviving before we can celebrate. This is h and I'm sorry, Lana. They're just trying to boost our morale. Arm doesn't lie. I told you she fell. I can't believe it. You're free. Oh, Pathfinder, we have you to thank. She fell. Yes. I'm glad you did the right thing, Ryder. You'd better live a clean life, Nilkin, or else. What? What does she mean by that, love? I'll tell you later. Let's just get home. Attention, civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. Security is investigating. Another brawl on the docks? Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's one word for it. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources and there's nowhere to put them. Then what's the point of all those outposts I've founded? People need more than space, Ryder. They need work they're trained for, and we don't have placements for those families. If I just toss them to any outpost with a spare bunk, they become a burden we can't afford. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. These people aren't the enemy. We didn't come all this way to rip families apart. We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... 
Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. Tracking enemy activity. Apex leaders notified. Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pod should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. Things will be lean for a while. The new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I... Just want her out, so I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. For Jasper K. Griffith G. Hilkvist A. Demerchi P. Kozlov S. There! That's her! Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. Given new resource allocation, personnel in stasis on the Hyperion may now be required to wait longer. When it's time, you'll have a home to wake up to. I promise. Colonial Affairs, please advise Director Tan of your status. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could, but we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Probably not the rah-rah quote Tan would hope for, but very genuine. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer, and I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I'd play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration. That completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. But footage of that remnant bolt is sealed.
Ryder, could we chat? You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. Sam's been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. Anything I can help with? When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager... Let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. You missed your appointment. Again. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. I had a good reason. Which was? When I remember it, I'll tell you. I don't think she bought it. <laughs> I got a copy of the Nexus's movie library. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning vids, but there might be something good. I'll keep you posted. Just waiting on that armor requisition slash project. No pressure. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? We're all struggling with a job that just landed in our laps. It's a blur sometimes. I bet Lexi's flagging all kinds of psych warnings. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Commander. Pathfinder, Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You rescued Shabbat Khan. His loss would have been hard for the Resistance. But your true agenda is clear, to explore Aya's vault. 
Jal says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? My personal code is, I got this. Bold. A little arrogant. Like me. Still, I'll reserve judgment for now. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special catch facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to their program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. What I meant was, let our scientists help with your program. Let my team join your effort. Hmm. Let's up the chance for success. I'm offering. You should accept. Very well. I'm not stupid, and I love the Moshai. You're welcome on the mission. Thank you. The team will meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the Get facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Jal said he wanted to see you. So, you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. I can't imagine what he must have gone through. He has scars that would give you an idea. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the Remnant, or anything, except destroying the Ket. Why not join the Resistance? Axul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage. But Axul's dangerous. And he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home... <sighs> I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarul who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point.
Aya is a wonder writer, and the Angara are so interesting. I hope we make it back. I want to delve and explore and who knows what else. We'll be back. We need the Moshe if we're going to get into their vault. Oh, I'm definitely sticking around long enough for that. I have to admit, when you invited me to your apartment, I thought you might be luring me there for... something else. You thought, or you hoped? I might have been hoping. That hope had crossed my mind as well. If Kalinda hadn't intruded, who knows what might have happened. Is there more about Kalinda you want to share? Back home, she was upper crust. An ambassador. Respected, living the high life, but miserable. Not built for royalty, she said. With her position, the Initiative sought her out as a first contact specialist. First wave out of stasis. Kalinda was the one who got me thought out early. I'm still grateful for that. But things went south soon. She hurt me. Pretty badly. What happened? Oh, let's not drum up that sob story. It's all water under the bridge. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.